There was a time when 3D printer filament dryers were a niche product. When the companies who made the printers you used, such as Creality, had either no filament dryer on the market at all, or one that was so poor you didn't even consider using it. In that time, those of you smart enough to work with filament dryers had to rely on other smaller companies to supply you with a filament dryer that actually worked. I'm looking at you, Sun Lu. And you, iBoss. Even during that time period, those filament dryers that were made by these companies, which were the best on the market, had many issues. They were either unstable, dangerous to your fingers, overly complicated, overly basic with information, and even the most badass models were somewhat overcomplicated and required a lot of assembly. You don't even want to see this one. And if we go back even further, they were an absolute piece of shit. However, what choice did you have? Creality made like one filament dryer and it was cheap garbage. Bamboo either wasn't a thing yet or had no filament dryer, which to date, they technically still don't. They only have the AMS2 Pro, which is a $300 plus dollar filament color changer and combination dryer unit. Fast forward to present day and Creality, a company known for making many mistakes, also happens to be known for correcting them. I present to you the Creality Space Pi filament dryer lineup. In the past two years, Creality has gone batshit crazy, putting out three of the most badass filament dryers ever produced, which is really impressive considering prior to this lineup, the only filament dryer they had was a piece of crap. Let's have a quick look at your three options in the Creality ecosystem for filament drying. Here on the left, we have the original Creality Space Pie. I have an entire video on this dryer. Despite its silly name, the Space Pie was a huge shock because prior to this, Creality's only filament dryer looked something like this junk. Shipped in this beautiful box, she's got a really nice screen, which lets you easily select between the material you want to dry, the temperatures, and the amount of time that you need to run it. It has an easy to work with case, smooth rollers, powerful fans, a sealable output for printing while drying, and a very stable base. With a couple of these in your print shop, you can dry or dry and print from virtually any printer by simply feeding from the machine to that printer. The Space Pi also has an independent power switch. Fast forward a year or so, and Creality brought us more serious 3D printer users, the Space Pi Plus. The Space Pi Plus gives you everything from the original Space Pi in a dual spool format. Another beautiful box and another beautiful filament dryer. Despite its giant front, the Space Pi Plus has the same screen as the original Space Pi, letting you easily select between filaments and runtime. On the top of the Space Pi, it has two individual outputs, so you could print to two separate machines while drying at the same time. Inside the Space Pi Plus, you've got two powerful fans and vents, plus a new feature not available in the original Space Pi, and that is not one, but two containers for desiccant packs. One, two. 
One of my favorite features of the Space Pie dryer is how easy you can see the spools on either side and even from behind. However, two filament spools is for amateurs. A few months ago, Creality released the absolutely epic grand pooba of them all, the Space Pi X4 4 spool filament dryer. With the X4, we lost the beautiful box the first two Space Pi came in, but we gained a tremendous amount of features and technology never seen before in a Creality filament dryer. Here is the Space Pi X4. The first thing you might notice is the split in the lid. That's because the Space Pi is actually two dual dryers combined into one unit. What do I mean by that? The X4 is actually two separate dual containers. This allows you to put up to four spools of one kilogram rolls at a time or two one kilogram and one two kilogram, or two two kilogram spools. Unfortunately, I don't have a two kilogram spool to demonstrate on this space pie. Here inside the machine, you will see two large, powerful vents and fans and a much larger compartment for a desiccant pack. Hiding here on the front, an LED light. Hiding here in the back is a dehumidifying vent that vents out the back of the Space Pi X4. All of these features are duplicated on both sides in both compartments of the X4. PTFE and filament outputs on both the front and the back of the machine. By individual, I mean an individual pluggable port for each of the four filament spools. These outputs are not simply holes for filament, they are PTFE couplers so that you may attach a PTFE tube should you prefer more direct control over the path of your filament. And yes, they are typical PTFE couplers which will lock the tube in place. To remove it, depress the ring and remove the tube. However, we're not done yet. The rear of the machine also has four individual filament outputs, each one a locking PTFE coupler. However, the Space Pi X4 is not just a bigger Space Pi, it's a smarter Space Pi. Each of these chambers is individually controllable. Let's get into some of those features. You'll see the X4 has individual readouts, one for each chamber. Here you can see my right chamber is marked ABS and PLA with eight hours and 50 degrees. I can back out, switch over to the left chamber and set individual filaments for this chamber with individual temperatures and drying times. We also have two automated features on Space by X4. You press right here, which says AUTO. AUTO is auto. Why they didn't make it say auto, I don't know. It does look like it could fit. Press auto, and you may choose auto drying or auto dehumidifying. Auto drying will monitor the humidity. When it rises above a certain threshold that you can set, it will start the drying process automatically. You can even control which chambers, what temperature, how long. Dehumidifying will monitor the humidity and simply use the vents and the dryer to lower the humidity in the box, effectively creating a dry box. This isn't meant to dehydrate your filament, only to keep the environment inside the box at a low humidity level. We can touch this light icon and turn on the lights individually. Here on the screen, you may also press the gear icon and control 
a whole pile of settings. We have auto mute. When the humidity reaches a certain level, auto mute will reduce the speed of the fans to make the unit run more silently. Lighting while drying is self-explanatory. That will turn the lights on when drying starts. And beeping will sound an alarm when the beeping is finished. You have your screen timeout, screen brightness, units Celsius or Fahrenheit. In the 3D printing world, everybody works in Celsius. Even if you, like me in the USA, are used to Fahrenheit, I suggest sticking to Celsius. Of course, language, your online manual, and your about screen, which will let you see your firmware. Hiding here on the underside of the Space Pi is a micro SD slot, which you can use to update the firmware on the Space Pi X4. I have an entire video on that process. Here are two Space Pi dryers, one feeding a K1C and one feeding a P1P. And here is a Space Pi Plus, which I just call the X2 feeding a K1C and a P1P. Here is the Space Pi X4 feeding a Creality K1C and a Bamboo P1P. You might notice I pulled the filament sensor to make external spools feed more smoothly into the machine. I'm Mr. Greg. This is the Space Pi, Space Pi Plus, and Space Pi X4. And you're on 3D Rundown.